Hey guys, it's John here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the UmiDG A7 Pro. In this video, we are going to be doing the usual gaming tests and device info, but I will also take a look at the overall build quality of the phone and the camera quality as well. Also, if you're new to this channel, please support my channel by liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, recommendations, or just want to say hi, please do so by dropping me a comment below. So with that out of the way, let go. Alright, so the UmiDG A7 Pro has two variants out on the market. There's a 65GB version as well as a 128GB version. The model that we are testing today is the 128GB version and it costs about $170 on Amazon. The build quality of the phone is pretty good. The phone has a metal frame with glass backing which gives it a nice and elegant feel. The front of the phone sports a 6.3 inch Full HD screen that has decent brightness levels and the 16 megapixel selfie camera at the top. The back side of the phone has a fingerprint sensor as well as the quad camera setup with a 16 megapixel main camera. And on the bottom of the phone is the USB-C data and charging port, speakers, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The right side of the phone has your volume rockers and your power button. And on the left side of the phone is your SIM card tray, which supports two SIM cards as well as a micro SD card at the same time. We'll be taking a look at the device info a little bit later, but with the basic specs out of the way, let's take a look at the camera's performance. To test the camera performance, we really have to take a look at the kind of images and videos that the phone produces. So with that in mind, I decided to take some pictures of things I had lying around the house. The pictures that I took were taken using the stock camera app and all settings were set to auto. Now for the video test. I decided to create a simple product commercial type of video using this phone. Because honestly, if the phone can film a simple product commercial type of video decently, it most likely will be able to take decent videos in other settings as well. The shots were done on a cheap tripod to try and give better stability. And the only editing I did on the videos was cutting the videos and adding transition. Now that we got the camera test out of the way, let's move on to our gaming test. But before we do the gaming test, let's take a look at device info to see what kind of hardware is inside this baby. Now with device info, there are three things that we are going to be paying special attention to. And that is the CPU, the display, as well as the RAM. As you guys can see, this phone has a MediaTek MT6763 CPU which is an octa-core processor and has a Mali G71 MP2 GPU from ARM. Display-wise, the phone has a 2340 by 1080p display and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. And finally, the phone has 3.8 gigabytes of RAM, of which 2 gigabytes is being used by the operating system, which leaves us with around 1.8 gigabytes of RAM for apps and gaming. So now that we know what kind of hardware is in this phone, let's actually move on to the gaming test. The first game that we tested on this phone was Mobile Legends Bang Bang. The phone was able to handle Mobile Legends with flying colors. During gameplay, I didn't notice any frame drops or stuttering, and the touchscreen was responsive to my inputs and swipes.
Alright, so the second game that I tested was Call of Duty Mobile. And just like Mobile Legends, this phone was able to handle Call of Duty just fine. There was a small hint of lag, but it wasn't bad at all. The touch screen was also responsive to my inputs, and I did not notice any delays. And finally, the last game that I tested with this phone was PUBG. With regards to graphics settings, I played the game on the lowest graphics settings even though higher graphics settings were available in the settings menu. And just like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty, this phone was able to handle PUBG just fine. Alright guys, it's time to bring this video to a close and I hope that you enjoyed my video. Please stay tuned for my next video which will be on the Xiaomi Note 8 Pro and I will also announce a giveaway challenge during that video. Until next time, take care. Alright, so this pretty much sums up my review of the UmiDG A7 Pro. If you guys are looking for a cheap phone that is good all around, I highly suggest you take a look at this phone. And as you guys can see, the phone provides decent performance for the money. The phone has good build quality, can take decent pictures and videos, and it can also do light gaming without any issues. Alright guys, it's time to bring this video to a close and I hope that you enjoyed my video. Please stay tuned for my next video which will be on the Xiaomi Note 8 Pro and I will also announce a giveaway challenge during that video. Until next time, take care.